three tips that are going to work for you right now to get over your ex. If you're still connected to your ex, if you still love your ex, you want him back, I'm going to give you three tips that are going to radically transform how you feel about your ex so that you can get them back or get over them. First, let me tell you, I'm Adrian Everhart. I'm a feminine energy dating and relationship coach. If you are new to my channel, please take a moment and hit subscribe. And if you want to tune into my podcast, I have all of those links below. So let's get started. So this first tip is about how to shift your energy off of a man. I have spoken many times throughout the years and all of my videos about how to get your ex back, how to get over your ex. Now, what do I mean by that? How can you get over someone and then maybe also get them back? Well, an amazing thing happens in feminine and masculine energy and that when you peel your energy off a masculine energy source, they can feel it. I don't care if you're a thousand miles away. I would prefer that you date local. But even if you're a thousand miles away, a man can really feel when your energy has shifted and you've no longer got a thing for him. He can feel it. It's less heat. He's out from under the microscope. So this gives a man like a little more space and safety to pursue you. But let's say you're just ready to like get your life back, get your heart back, get your mind back. This guy has taken up enough real estate up here and in here and you're just really ready to get back to your rich juicy full life when your energy and focus is on that man you get caught up in a mental loop and i talk about how your brain is not your heart and your heart is not your brain sometimes your brain can actually be doing things to try to help you that are actually harming you long term but your brain doesn't know that your brain is like kind of like evolutionarily a three-year-old or as some people call it, like a monkey brain. Your brain is actually focused on how can I feel the best I can instantly, like right now? How can I just bring back my happiness, get my ex back right now? And that doesn't work. And so we walk around feeling miserable for really longer than we ever really need to because we keep listening to our brain. And this is where that prefrontal cortex has got to start pulling its weight and get you back on track in your life. So you're gonna go from moping and feeling miserable to feeling like yourself again and feeling confident that your life is going to go on. Now, how do you get from here to here? You can't, you can't just say, hey, I'm over them and I'm better and I feel better and I'm back to my life, I'm back to me. And you want to learn how to speak to yourself and talk to yourself in a way that addresses the pain you're going through. Give yourself some comfort and some care for that grief you are experiencing, for the emotions you are experiencing, and then also choosing a new thought. So you might have a thought like, why did he have to leave me? I don't understand, or I can't believe he hasn't spoken to me. And it's been like six weeks and I haven't heard anything from him. He won't write me back. So notice there that you're in kind of like this questioning mode where you're going around in circles trying to figure out or solve a problem. Hey, that's what our brains do best, but our brains actually can't solve emotional problems. So once you understand that your brain can chatter and chatter and chatter and give you all of these reasons why you should call him, drive over to his house or send him a letter or buy him a gift, you know, call his mom, call his cousin, send him a message on social media. I mean, the list goes on and on of all the things your brain will tell you, like we could do this. And then at some point you might do a couple of those and then your brain goes, okay, let's call this psychic. Let's go get a tarot card reading. You might do a little of that and then that doesn't work. And then you're back to calling your mom and you're calling your girlfriends and you're driving everybody crazy because you're trying to process what has happened to you. You're trying to process an emotional event and your brain just is not capable of solving this emotional problem. So how do we process trauma? How do we process grief? How do we get back to our rich, juicy, full life when we are in so much pain and we are so confused. The first thing I want you to do is understand that confusion is a big part of it. You're going to be confused. Nothing about this guy is ever going to make sense. He's with a woman that's half the woman you are. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't have to. We're somewhere here in the solar system and we have no other planets around it like us. We don't understand it. We don't need to. We can't understand it right now. You see, there are so many mysteries in the universe. So I want you to just understand 
I'm not going to understand this. Thank you so much, brain, but I'm just not going to understand this. Let's stop trying. So now you're actually speaking to that part of you that's working on a problem. The next part is where do I want to be? I'm thinking about this guy. I'm missing him. I'm trying to understand what happened. I'm deep in grief. Where do I want to be? So you might say something like, I want to feel confident again. I want to feel just a little bit of happiness. I want to feel like maybe there's hope for me in the future with a new guy. So now we're tiptoeing into the future. And how do we do this? You have to, on purpose, change some of the thoughts that you're saying to yourself. Because remember, the brain is just rapidly firing on what has continued to work and bring you anxiety and bring you stress because that's how you survive. You know, fire is hot. You know not to touch it. And at some point your brain goes, okay, we know the stove is hot. We kind of trust ourselves. We don't have to keep telling ourselves this a hundred times. So with a new relationship that's just broken up or even a relationship that you've just continually been in that loop about, your brain's going to keep reminding you the stove is hot. The stove is hot. Or we miss him. We miss him. We love him. Where is he? So your brain will keep working on it as long as you entertain it. But when you take back that power and you can say, okay, I hear you. What do I want to be thinking? What do I want to be feeling? That's when you interrupt that loop. Now I teach something called bridge thinking, which is where, how do we get from miserable to feeling like a little bit better? So go ahead and choose what that better thing would be. Let's choose something like confidence. All you have to say to yourself is, it's possible I could begin to feel more confident about myself. I believe that confidence is maybe something I'm not feeling right now, but I might start feeling more of it in a day or two. Other times in my life, I haven't felt confident. And then later I began to feel confident. So all you're doing is offering yourself these little tiny tweaks in the right direction of where you want to be. It's kind of like when you have your phone and you put in maps and map says proceed to the route and you're like, where the heck is the route that I'm supposed to proceed to? Well, that's what bridge thinking's all about. It's like, how do I get from here to here? You have to start with those small little thoughts, just thinking that this is possible and also understanding like this is something my brain is telling me right now. I'm never going to find someone to love me again. It's just something my brain is telling me to keep me trapped right here, right now, doesn't necessarily mean it's true. Trust me on this one. The more you deep dive into listening to your thoughts and challenging them very subtly, your brain will begin to ease back and adult you can start to be in control. As always, feminine energy is about curiosity and leaning back and letting things take shape and form and seeing how you feel along that process. Now, if you want to learn more about feminine energy, I have so much more to teach you. So check out Fem Tools for Dating or my complete collection below or my best-selling ebook, 500 Ways to Talk to a Man. I hope this video has been helpful and gets your life back on track. You are a powerful dynamite woman and you are worthy of an amazing, wonderful love. Sending you lots of love. Until next time, bye-bye.